Uh, so you saw the interview with Drew? Yeah. What'd you think about it? Ain't think nothing about it. Think shit was some clown shit. Yeah? Uh, what'd you think was, was clownish about it? What was it? <laughs> Which part was it? The, the part that everyone gravitates towards is I slapped him two times. Okay, so you slapped him open hand. And then he pulled out his gun? That's exactly what he did. And then he just like shot this. you. Go it ahead. was just like this. I said, what you going to do with that? So I slapped him again. Two times. Two times. Okay. And then after you slapped him again, he let off? That's when he let off. That's when I got hit right here. In, my, in the front of my thigh. That was the first shot. This man, man behind him put up the two fingers two times. Like nobody, you know what I mean? Like, chill out, my nigga. Like nobody cares, you know what I mean, if you slap somebody two times and they shot you up. Shot you five you know, times. I shot the, I slapped the nigga that shot me. Right. He still shot me. You understand what I'm saying? He still shot me. He won. He won that. You understand what I'm saying? So right. it's like when you sit there, because I, I watched it and they tried to stress that part. Like, no, I slapped him two times. Two times. Well, he said he slapped him and the soldier boy pulled out the gun and he said, what are you going to do with that? And he slapped him again. That sounds suicidal to me. Yeah, that's still, you know, that's fly. He still shot you. He still shot you, though. Still shot you, though. He shot you though. He emptied. That's what, he emptied if that's the clip. what you getting pussy outside from, <laughs> then whatever. You know what I mean? To each his own. You know what I mean? That's what they do now. You know, hope that's what niggas do. I don't know. It's it's cool to be a victim. Well, they actually sent me a mixtape. They DM'd it to me, and it's a mixtape, and it's called Two Times. It's got like a graphic of him slapping Soldier Boy, and oh, man. I guess there's a diss song with it. Um, you know, because he approached Maybe you me. Maybe should shoot Soldier Boy. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, but like the, the the crazy part about it is that because he approached me, and his thing was, "I'm not dead." First of all, <laughs> you know, like <laughs> oh yeah, dude, Soldier said he yeah, killed somebody. Well, yeah, because wow. Soldier kind of alluded, and I forgot if it was my interview or another interview or whatever. But basically, he was talking about how the dude is dead, and he's like, "I'm not dead." So he wanted to put that part out there, and I'm like, "All right." And you know, I had to make sure there wasn't just some weirdo that was just trying to get on my platform. So I'm like, "What happened?" He explained it to me, and then I'm like, "All right." Uh, you got shot? He said five times. I said, are you willing to show the, the bullet wounds and everything? He's like, yeah. So, you know, if you watch the video, you, you, saw, you, know, you see the bullet wounds and everything else like King that. Draco aired you out. Stop playing with King Draco. And, uh, you know, he claimed he never tried to rob him. He claimed that it was a meeting, whatever else. I guess we'll never really know. Um, but. So him saying that the nigga never tried to rob him, that was him discrediting his claim against him. In, a, in, in, in criminal court. Yeah, because at one point when I asked him, I said, so when the, when the police questioned you, did you tell him the soldier boy shot you? He said, yeah. So everyone was all up and oh, he's snitching or whatever else. You know, with me, I don't give a shit about none of that. I'm just here to ask questions. Um, but yeah, I mean, he wanted to get a story out. He had been keeping the story to himself now for the last 10 years or whatever. He came to my platform and we put it out. So a lot of people police. watch it. He, he, you know, I know that I haven't talked to him, but his his people, the ones in the background, have been DMing me saying, "Yeah, we got a million views. Our story finally got out there." So, but that's what they want to do. That's that's what they got. You know what's wrong with a lot of niggas, especially street niggas. Um, I think niggas are losing a losing touch in what street niggas do. You know, me per se, I keep to, I'm not a street dude anymore. I get legal checks. I'm not outside getting um, illegal money. Mm -hmm. But um, when dudes that's supposed to be in the streets reach out to media outlets to get known, to get publicity, you're not a street dude no more. Now you're just a rapper. 
You just you looking for publicity. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's what these dudes do now. I was arguing with some dudes, and then I seen the dude in the video adding blogs, like ten blogs. I was like, oh shit! I like I thought the nigga was serious. He just wanted to show this to the blogs, and I stopped responding. I blocked him. I, I stopped responding to him because I was like, I was confused. I had thought that his energy was real, but it was like, yeah, I want to get on this blog today so I could show some bitches in my neighborhood that I'm lit or whatever, you know what I mean, to get some publicity. Yeah, I mean, people like you and me have the ability to make anyone famous. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I made Droop famous. I, I had a million and a half people watch his story. I'm sure when he walks around Atlanta now, people be, oh, I seen you on that Vlad shit. Like, Droop is gonna fuck you up for saying that. Why is that? Cause that's just how shit goes. Yeah, well. <laughs> I'm ready for the fuck shit. <laughs> when I move around, uh, I prepare myself for that on a, on a daily basis. Safe, so it, it's all good um but yeah so he got his publicity he's happy we put him on our platform we got the views we're happy everyone walks away happy so and soldier boy actually because when he did that the, the interview and the way he described it and it's i don't know if you've seen like what people have done with this interview but someone cut it to the movie belly and like literally broke down like scene by scene where, you know, like where as he's describing it, you see DMX reenacting it and all this type of shit. Like nah, I was the way he told it, he told he told the story real good. It was like a it was so theatrical that niggas was like, this shit gotta be a movie. Right. But then once I brought Droop and he actually admitted to the shooting, suddenly it was not as funny anymore. It's like, oh shit, this shit really happened. Not really happen, and nobody's gonna be like you know. Nobody, Soldier Boy probably isn't gonna say, "Yo, the nigga smacked me," and then I shot him. You know what I mean? Nobody wants to say they was smacked or emasculated. You know what I mean? You know how that shit go. So, you know, he probably had to put it in his form. I'm not saying Soldier lying. I'm not saying Droop lying. You know what I mean? But I'm, I'm sure saying an, somebody yeah. ain't telling the truth. Well, because <laughs> well, Droop ended up doing a year in prison over it. For the robbery. For the alleged robbery. For the alleged robbery. Right. So Soldier Boy had to say Droop robbed him, tried right. to rob him so yeah. he could get away with the shooting. Right. And he had to say Soldier Boy just shot him because he oh. smacked him. Yeah. So he would only get a year. Right. And originally when he called me, when he said uh, a year, I think, I think I called you about it. And I'm like, something doesn't sound right. Cause it's like a year for, for home invasion and, and robbery. That don't really make sense. But then once he broke the story down it was like, okay, there was no real evidence. I, no I don't know. Proof. I don't, you know, I don't know too much about Atlanta anyway. Cause it's, it snows down there and dudes can't even, you know, get through the snow. So I don't, I don't know <laughs> well, what's what? going on. It snows and dudes can't get the snow. I don't get it. Yeah, Atlanta, like, you know, it snows down there and it's a struggle. So, you know, I don't fully understand that. Okay. Me from New York where it snows every day. <laughs> <laughs>